Hello everybody and welcome finally to Inscription. I've just booted up the game for the first time. I have no idea if this is like a cutscene or something, but I thought I might as well start recording now. I'm really excited to be getting into this game. I have managed to stay relatively spoiler free. I know a few things here and there, but of course everyone's been saying how amazing this game is and how I need to play it. So I'm finally going to be playing it. Of course, just due to the nature of this game, this will be more of a chilled playthrough. I'm just going to be just sort of me playing it and sort of normal regular commentary and just trying to figure out the game as we go ahead. So let's jump in and see what this is. I'm really, really excited to see um, what this game has to offer because I, uh, quite a few people, BD1P and Never Named especially, okay. have been telling me Time to figure out what's on this thing. how good this is. This is already different from what I was assuming. Ooh, hello. This is completely different to what I was expecting already. Okay. So, we're gonna go new game, of course. Um, ooh. We can't do a new game. Interesting. Um, do I have to, like, drag? Ah, okay. Whoa, this is... Oh, this is awesome already. I just want to ch change the... Um, maybe we'll go up a little bit from that. There you go. Is this save? Oh, no. Okay. Right, so let's continue then, I guess. Whoa, th this is this is not what I expected at all. I'm only seeing the menus so far. This is very interesting. I'm excited to get into this. Of course, please try to refrain from putting any spoilers in the um, in the comments. I know that many of you will respect that, but just in case, because uh, I want to go into this relatively blind, and I'm already going in fairly blind. I know it's a deck building game, and I know it's a bit of a roguelike. Whoa. There's some creepy eyes at the other side of this tail. Another challenger. It has been ages. So are we like a person playing... Retro video game. Perhaps you have forgotten how the game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Okay. Now play your stir. Okay. Stir cost one blood. Um, sacrifice must be made. Oh, so I've got a sacrifice... Ah, okay, so that's like a fodder card. And then that stirs our attack card, I imagine, with one attack and three health. And we can pull back again. Wolf requires two sacrifices. You don't have enough. You are lacking sacrifices for that creature. Okay, so now I've got to pass my turn, I'm imagining. Your stir stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power of one. Your stir dealt one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. He's gonna play Coyote. Your stir stands in the way of my Coyote. It attacks. My Coyote deals two damage to your stir. That means your stir's health is two less. Now it's at one. The creature's health reaches zero. It dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. I think I'll draw a squirrel. How dull. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need two sacrifices, so... Uh... Now I can play my wolf, right? Yeah. And now the wolf can go here. Okay, and then we can go back, and then we can't play again. We tap the bell. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. Let's go for a random card this time. We get a River Snapper. So we can't play either of these again. The River Snapper demands more blood. Okay, so we'll leave again this time here. And we attack again. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. He passes once more. We can grab a Squirrel. We can play that Squirrel. And then we can come back. And I guess we could go with our River Snapper here. But that's... Not as good, right? So let's let's uh, let's go back and then pass our turn here. We add more to the scale. 
And that's that's us won. Yeah, we've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Okay, so we at least understand the basics here of this blood sacrificing mechanic. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. Ooh, I like this map. You are lost deep in the forest. A single path reveals itself. We move to the first game. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The adder. The Corsic adder damage um, from its position. Poison bite is always lethal. By the way, I am a bit dyslexic, so I apologize for my terrible, terrible ability to read. <laughs> the undying cat. Sacrifice the poor beast. Does not kill it. Ah, interesting. So we can use it as a permanent sacrifice. I like that. Only one may grace the um, Capalitary deck. I'm gonna take the cat. I like the I like the idea of the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Okay, th this is way different than what I was expecting. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, breaking case of emergency. I have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with these. There is much that three is as much as you can carry. Yeah, I see. Okay, so now we've got a battle. The music really reminds me of The Last of Us. I really like it. The atmosphere is great, by the way. I've got all my lights turned up. I was told to do that, and it's very atmospheric. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain by stumps and a boulder. Interesting. So our cards speak to us. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I'm guessing these are just things to be in the way and we have to get through them, so... Okay, so... So we want to be putting the squirrel down. No, we'll move the squirrel. Okay, I don't think we can move the squirrel. I think I made a mistake there. So now we can play the stir, take the squirrel, put the stir here. Here we go. You got a wolf cub over there, I see. Um, and then we'll leave that for now, I guess. Okay, we got a bat here. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages. It ages swiftly. So, I think now I'll take a squirrel, place a squirrel there, come back, place a cat. Wait, what? I'm confused. Place that there, I guess. Is that right? Have I done that right? Okay, yeah. I want to... I'm a bit confused right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I, I, I didn't really get what I was doing there, but we'll learn, we'll learn. Ooh, I can see my hand. I see. So that turns into a wolf after one turn. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. My bat flew right over your cat. We'll take a random card this time. We've got another wolf. I still... I'm a little confused, I'll be honest. That was a really bad player, wasn't it? I guess I want that, but I can't play that now, right? Was that a good player? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty confused. Okay, so that was a decent player, but we're dead. So we lost. Use this as a learning opportunity. Okay, get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Whoa, okay, what the hell? I did not expect this. What on earth? What the hell's going on? I didn't expect any of this. Have it. How do I give it to you? There you go. Now sit back down. 
the hell is this? <laughs> Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Okay. Hmm. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. An ex inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I'll take the flying creature, that seems good. Okay, what's this? You stumble into some strange stones in the mist. Maybe card upgrades? You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. The cat, maybe? I don't know. Pick me. Okay. <laughs> you asked for it. What an honor. Oh, okay. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stir. We can combine card effects, I see. So I think that means that stir can be sacrificed without dying now, right? Whoa. Behold the totem. It inscribes my car um, canine cards with the airborne sigil. What the hell? Okay. So I guess we play... Squirrel? I don't know. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where do I... I want to see his cards. We've got a bat there. So maybe, yeah, I play Squirrel here. And then Sparrow plays here. We can't play either, either of these two, so that's fine. We can't pick up any other cards. We have Squirrels in a bottle over there. So what did that do? Did it attack anything? My totem has granted my coyote power of flight. What the hell? <laughs> this coyote can fly? Am I supposed to be able to win these? Because I don't feel like I can. Um, Another card. Okay. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic. Really. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Right. I, I, I guess sacrifice that and put you there. Back on the board. Indeed. Right. I can't play either of these two, so I pass my turn, right? Okay, that gets rid of you. But then the bat hurts us anyways and we've lost, right? Alas, it's time for you to perish. I'm really hoping I was meant to die there. Because if not, I don't know how... I I'm going to be really bad at this game. <laughs> I'm guessing I was meant to die. Because that was difficult. <laughs> I, or at least I didn't really understand it. But, I'm Charlotte's Pan. You aren't dead yet, this isn't purgatory. So you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favour. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be a perfect memento of you. Here are some cards for your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. I mean, I literally only have that. Yeah. And another, this time, use the power and the health. Let's go with that, shall we? Because it's a turtle. Extract the sigil. Never did ask you your name. Turtle Melon. Enter. There is but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? Oh, damn. Okay. Um, yes. You do not need to smile. <laughs> All righty then. 
Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it's time. Perhaps you can understand burns. The resource opossum costs two burns. You gain a burn, burn when one of your character perishes for any reason. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um... But I guess I put, I'm still a little confused as to how best to play cards. Because I can only afford to play that right now. So I play that, right? And this is our burn. Okay, I see. Gained a burn. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Good. Okay, so now we can pass turn. Wow. That, that character died quick. Uh, so then let's take another one of these. Bullfrog. That's new. Um, so now we can play out our opossum here. We can end turn there, and that kills you. Got another Rattler. We will take this. Um, squirrel, you can go there. Bullfrog. Sacrifice you. And then I guess you can go here. You have what looks like... Fl okay, Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Ah, nice. Okay. And then... A card bearing this sigil is counted as three blood rather than one when sacrificed. Oh, we can look at all of them here. I see. Oh, this is going to be useful. Okay. So, what, what was that? How do we... Oh, we're just right-clicking. Okay. Um, okay, we're good to skip now, I think. Okay, so Rattler takes care of that. And then we want to get another squirrel going there. And he's not got anything airborne, right? So we can sacrifice both of these. And get our wolf there. That seems like a good idea. We got more squirrels, which don't seem very useful right now, but he's not got any. Uh... There you go. Okay. How brutal of you. Okay, I'm guessing that other battle we were meant to die in then. You dealt more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's besides the safe. Ooh, do I get to pick? Or do I have to? I think I have to have this one. There's also something in that safe moving around. Not great. I wonder if there's any, like, little hidden away little bits in this area. I'm sure there is. Oh, okay, there you go. We got that book there. Let us continue. There's our piece. Right, we can pick some more cards now. Right, Coyote, that is four burns. Seems decent enough, but kind of hard to use, I guess. The Rattler, six burns. Nefarious Rattler, a brittle creature. Once past its monstrous fangs. It does have three attack, but only one health. And the Cockroach. The unkillable Cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. If that gives us burns each time, I can imagine that being pretty interesting. Let's take that. You know you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I'm okay, thank you. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Some burn tokens for a rainy night. Choose one. I think I'm going to take the burn tokens. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carry on. Okay. And then we got a battle here. This is so different from what I was expecting, but my god, I'm loving this. This is really interesting. Okay, so what are we? What have we got? What are we fighting against? The two sparrows. Do we really want our bullfrog out there? So let's um, let's play our squirrel, and then we'll bullfrog here and put that there, and then we can. Oh, we four burns for a cockroach. I see. Okay, so we'll leave that there for now then. Oh, right. Okay, no, it did survive. Good. Um. I guess we take another squirrel here and just use it as fodder for um, 
I don't know, do we do we play the wolf or not? That has two health left. I think if we play the wolf, we're gonna get a guaranteed kill, so we do that. Right? Let me skip our town. Okay. So this is gonna hit us, but we should be fine. Um we'll take a card here. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. Hmm. Damn it. I is, is was that a good idea? I don't I don't know. <laughs> this is confusing. Okay, so this should block some damage here. Dipping the scales again. Aha, we can put the opossum down now. We may finish this match the slow way. Wait. Uh, is he offering me an out here? No, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play my cards. I need my practice, so uh, kind of worth. I, th I think basically what he's saying is I've won and he can't win, so I he's sacrificing. Like he's saying game over. But I'm gonna keep playing. Just because I need a bit of practice. Well, that seems pretty interesting. You may stand now. Okay, so I'm going to try and stand now. Um, I'm out. It allows me time to plan. Okay, so let's stand up. I'm not a tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Ooh, I put out that torch by accident. Okay, so there's definitely some intriguing little secrets in this room, right? Ooh, hello. By the looks of it, but I don't really know any of them right now. <laughs> Oh, it's me. <laughs> I guess I'll take me. Why not? Intriguing. Okay. We got loot or whatever this is. This is, this is a card upgrade, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's sacrifice... I don't know, maybe the cockroach, because I didn't realise it was a four burn cost, which is pretty high. So let's maybe sacrifice that, and then let's buff up me. Uh, I don't know how long that buff lasts either. So let's go for another battle here. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about burns. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Um, 273. Okay, so now we can... After this game, we can stand up. Alright, so what's he got? He's got two sparrows. So, first of all, let's do squirrel and then stir. Put you there. Okay. He <laughs> doesn't seem very happy about that, but you're going to have to deal with it, sir. The, the sparrows are real hard to deal with, i got to say. Play that down. Ah, I'm, I'm so, I've still lost this one, yeah. Okay, how disappointing. Right, so let's let's get up again. Was it 273? 273, yeah. Wait, which when am I on two? I don't actually know. I'm, I think I'm on two now. Seven. Three. Is that right? Maybe it's like that? I, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's on the line. I see now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There you go. Two. I see. 
I was trying to get it pointing upwards, but that is not how it works. Three. There you go. Stink bug. It's the stir around. The madness must end. Put that away. And we also got this key as well, which goes in here. Okay, we're finding some secrets here. We're finding some secrets. Oh, I do not know what this is. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't really know what this means. Have I just got to, like, make it match five? There you go. And then we get the skink. Forgot I'd put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Okay. So... This is kind of interesting. Um, on a match five, move that down, move that back up. So that gets us up to three. And then maybe move this. I want to move this down, but I can't right now. Ah, oh, that's four. And then if we move that up, ah, oh, wait, that's one. Okay, this is confusing me. Um, three, three again. Four. Two. Damn. This is really difficult. <laughs> there you go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Form the little creatures, those ants. Very well. I'll add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Nice. Okay. And we've unlocked some of these areas as well. Okay. So, on base, it gives us nothing. So, let's push that up there, that down there. We'll move that. Go up. Ah, that's four. Okay. Um, maybe push you up and push you up. Try that. There you go. Nice. Okay, we've got the caged wolf this time. Curious. And then last one. Um, right, let's try down one. Uh, you go down. Okay, no, you're stuck there, apparently. There's only two. That should be four, no? Maybe? Some of them don't move. Maybe I need to push that one up and try that. Nope. This one's a lot tougher. Yeah, I think, I think we need that one in place. Okay. We're only getting one each time. Then two. Hmm. Yeah, this one's this one's tough. I don't know I don't know how we do this one. That's still only two. And we can't move these ones about either. Maybe I need something else to before I can move these. I'm not sure. I don't want to spend too long on this because I probably look like an idiot right now. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just moving tiles about. Hmm. Yeah, this one's this one's tough. Since most of them don't move, you can't really do much with them. The highest I'm getting is two. Yeah, let's leave that one for now then, I guess. Let's go sit back down. Okay. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose a specific... Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Ooh, okay. Let's go with two blood. The proud wolf. A random card with a cost of two. What were you expecting? Okay, a wolf's pretty good. A wolf's pretty good. Okay, we got a, a campfire here. 
by the looks of things. You came across a small group of survivors. Face shrunken from starvation, they huddle around the campfire. They look upon your group of creatures and beyond. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors whipping, wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. <laughs> he thinks the same as me. Let's just try a wolf. Ooh, that upped its damage. Fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Okay, so that's something that seems like I'm going to have to be careful for in the future. They seemed like they were very much ready to eat me or my creatures. Ah, uh, and this is one of the wolf battles, I see. Okay, so... Stink bug. A friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. <laughs> you got a plan. Another friend here. I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep with this in deep this time. Because I'm interested with this this whole dynamic of some of these talking cards. Okay, so let's have a little look. So they've got Mighty Leap. Card bearer um, can block on a person creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay, of course. So they're coyotes. We have the Grand Fire? Grand Fair? It's just a, oh, it's just a tree, I see. Um... Okay. So, can we play the stink bug? Need more burns. Ah, it's got a burn cost, I see. Yeah, I see that now. So we'll play... Let's play a bullfrog here. Okay. Hit the scale a little bit in our favor. Unfortunately, that's a big oof for us. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we, I think we take a squirrel. Which allows us to play our stir, which in turn allows us to play our stink bug. Right? A good play. Both of those die. Okay, nice. So now we have an open slot here, which probably means we're going to perish. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit. This is where I'm a little confused now, because we now don't. We shouldn't really take a card that requires blood sacrifice, because what the hell are we going to sacrifice? But at the same time, I don't know what else I'd do. So Ant Queen here has the ant spawner. When a card bearer bears the sigil, an ant is created in your hand. Okay, so we want to go boom, boom, and place this there, right? And then we can take a worker ant for next turn. Okay, nice. Okay, so the porcupine's going to hit us. We're not, not dead yet, though. So I think we take the squirrel, we place the squirrel here, and then we take our ant and put the worker ant there, which should mean that we kill on this turn and we've won, right? think. So now we take another one of these. You have me here, I surrender. And then we can take that. Okay, I'm getting a little better at this now. I'm getting a little, I'm, I'm t starting to understand the sacrificing a little more. The sacrificing is sort of a bigger part of moving cards to different slots, different rows than anything else, or columns should I say. Um, you are supposed to, uh, you were stopped along the way by a trapper Looking to liquidate his pelts. Liquidate? Hmm. There was something uncanny about his appearance. <laughs> Care to look at my pelt? Take a pelt free of charge. Okay. See the quality? The golden pelt. You'll need more teeth for that. We currently only have two teeth, so we can take a wolf's pelt, Anna. No? Oh, I see, it costs four. This, this costs two. You only need more teeth. Oh, maybe we only have one. Okay, so maybe we'll just take that then. You're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. I can't. I don't have any money for your pelts. Right, one moment. Okay, let's carry on. Thanks for your business. The man has served you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay. They're an inventory item that we should sort of keep for later. Okay, we've got another stone here, so... 
choice is yours. We've not really got a chance to use our skink yet, and loose tail. Um, when a card bears this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearer's the sigil moves to the right. Okay, I don't really know what that means. I kind of think maybe we get rid of the skink, because we've not really used it yet, and we try and level up something else. I mean, the wolves are all seem pretty good to upgrade. I like the idea of maybe upgrading the bullfrog, because I think that's got some... Uh, Good abilities there. It's going to give us that tail ability. I don't know how... Like, I'm going to have to sort of work around these sigils and work out how, what, what combinations work best here. But at the minute, I'm a little unsure. Oh, okay. The trees seem to close around you um, as a chill mist descends. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Towards the Prospector. Okay. So, the Prospector has a Pack Mule and a Coyote. The Pack Mule has a Sprinter. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearer with the sigil, uh, card bearing the sigil, will move in the direction inscribed. Okay. Hmm. We've got the Pelt again here. Caged wolf, which I don't really know the use of right now. So I think right now we want to plop this down and then go with a worker and here, right? And we'll end our turn like that. Tip the scales slightly. I hope it does a bit of problems for us. Hmm. At this point, I'm a little concerned. Right, let's place that there. That'll kill you. Wolf Cub is going to turn into a wolf in the next turn as well. I'm going to guess this. He's doing this processor again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Okay. The mule has 5 HP. So what the hell happens if I play the pelt right? I can't draw from the pelt. That's, that's just there to protect me, right? Maybe I should have kept the pelt. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. Probably a bad idea, right? Um, I think I'm just gonna get my turn here. Yeah, okay, so that's just fodder. Not the best for us, really. Um... difficult. Maybe I sacrifice with this. I, I really should pick up a card first. Let's, let's just go like this and we'll we'll sacrifice here. I don't know what to do about this spot here though. No, no, that's not where I want. It's not where I wanted to place you, god damn it. It's okay, it's okay. Tips the scales a little in our favour anyways. We lose two of them. Grab you. See, I can't play anything, because I don't have any sacrificable stuffs. I guess I have that squirrel in a bottle, but even then, both of these are two bloods, so I have to do that, right? And then I'm dead. I'm not dead. I still don't know how to win this. Because I can't I can't play these cards again. So then I just skip and then I die. There was a tip that came up, but I didn't get a chance to read it. More gold for me. Yeah, it's our first actual death. We're being dragged out of the hut. They're there. No need to move. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. Hold still. Where did I put that camera of mine? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall I begin to ink it? Okay. 
the cost the cost of this cost of free from the rabbit's pelt I see um we'll go with the wolf and then choose a card from which you will extract the sigils I guess this because that has two sigils on it right I never did ask your name. So do I put Turtle Melon again? I guess. Let's just do Turtle Melon 2, just in case. <laughs> I must capture your visage. Say cheese. Okay. This game. Not what I expected at all. It's exciting. Another challenger. Do tell do I tell you the tale of the one who came before you? They fell to a mad prospector. Nothing becomes between that man and his gold. Seems the lovely stink bug has made its way in. But his deal so it stands. Okay. Right. So we got. I'm guessing we got to do the same thing again and make our way to the prospector. No, you may choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one, the wolf. Randomly chosen canine card. Nope. I will take that. I like the wolves. An ancient woman emerges from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, These um, then gestures at them. Choose. Ooh, I like the idea of that. I see an infinite sacrifice. It's useless without its second half. But you um, intuited that this would, be, would not be the last encounter you have with her. Okay. We move up to this. Ooh, okay. So we got this again. Right, so... Squirrel will play you down. And then Stir will play you in its place. Keep me alive. I'll try. Not always that easy. Uh, what the hell? Ah, oh, that's kind of evil. This thing... Pronghorn. Okay. This is getting... This is getting really hard. <laughs> I'm already really bad at this. Um, I guess I just take a squirrel again. And then I do... Uh, here, I guess? So the caged wolf doesn't seem like to do anything other than let us sacrifice. You can't sign red's cage wolf, so you're short. Okay, so that just did the squirrel. I need more things to sacrifice, though. <laughs> I'm finding this so difficult. I'm short again. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, right? And then we can actually do some damage and kill that thing. Okay, 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 okay. Right, now we need to pull a normal card. So strange. Why well, can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Okay, we're tipping the scales in our favor now. Good. The bullfrog is here. We'll skip again. Okay, that was that was that was hard. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with Bug this time. We get the Worker Ant. Ah, the Diligent Ant. Its strength is proportional to the size of its colony. Okay. The Old Wood Carver again appears before you. Choose. Ooh, okay. Let's choose the Beast one. It's on. 
The old woman bared um, her teeth with insat insatisfaction. The first totem was complete. The many lies sigil will now be marked upon all of your canine creatures. Oh, okay, I see, I see. That's 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 decent. Go here. This is tricky, but I'm, I'm really liking it. It's, it's a little hard to grasp to start with. Okay, so Squirrel can be played here. And then Worker Ant can sacrifice to get that down. Good, good. And then that'll do. Two Coyotes come in. Deal a bit of damage. I feel like I... So let me let me try this. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this for now. Okay. So I don't exactly know how what this means. Oh god, we're dead. <laughs> this is so tough. I hoped for more. I've got the most exciting pelts. Um, yeah, we... First one's free. That's all I'm getting, apparently. Go over here, I guess, this time. I need some upgrading. What's this? No, I didn't want to do that. Undo! The creature, um... The creature opposing a card bearer sigil loses one power. Didn't want to do that. I'm sorry, Stinkbug. I'm just going to just double up on you. Why not? Yeah, all right. I am finding this insanely tough. <laughs> okay. So, coyotes, I guess we put a squirrel down and then bullfrog. And then a rabbit's pelt to stop taking damage, I guess. There's another coyote. Is this the same battle as last time? I can never get enough blood, though. <laughs> There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the um, only one with a real plan to get things back to normal. Okay. Can't play anything, so I just gotta take damage. And we've lost. Done. I'm real bad at this. Okay. Create another death card, I guess. I'm hoping you're meant to die this many times, and I'm not just really, really awful at this. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a mentor. A death card. Let us begin. We have to go work around, I guess. We'll go rat, uh, wolf again, I guess. And bullfrog. We have to. And then just... I still don't know if I should be putting my name in it every time. But I'm going to do it anyways. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Take my picture, fella. Okay. Seems like we're going to have a pretty hard time beating beating this first bit. We'll give it one more go this episode and then we'll leave it off for now. Why do you bother trying to teach you? You, you will learn as we go or you will die. You want the caged wolf in your deck? I don't really. I've been finding it pretty terrible. I'll take the stir. Okay, so... Apparently, there's another talking card in here. I'm guessing it's this one that I couldn't figure out how to get. Uh, so we know how we know what this symbol does now. So maybe we gotta go like. That. And then. That. I, I really don't know. I don't really get how these work, I'll be honest. I feel like I need... This is important. <laughs> I 
really don't understand it. Like, I'm the only numbers I'm looking at is this, like the health here, but I don't really know what it means. Heck it, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe there's another card somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, some free teeth. Nice. I keep putting these candles out. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Okay. Back to the sea, I guess. The bountiful warren is spawns a rabbit when it is played. Okay. Wolf or bullfrog. Let's try the warren, I guess. We've got the campfire again. Group of starving surround the uh, dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire. The warm plug hands its power. Okay, this is sketch. Do it, you must. No way. Let's enhance the power of the bullfrog. Give that a go. Yeah, extra damage. And then let's get out of here. Yeah, another fight. This time, with that on it. Sir. Squirrel. Warren. Put that down. Then we got a rabbit. So we can go rabbit. Play that, and then Bullfrog. Okay. Why do I always have the Cage Wolf in my deck? I don't know. I forgot about that. Okay. Guess I'm just going to put this here and then do that, and then... Yeah. Just use Squirrel to block some damage, I guess. I'll be using Squirrels for that a little more often, maybe. Okay, this, this turn, let's take that. Okay. So now let's go. I didn't mean to grab you. God damn it. Card seems useless. But I think there's more to it. I won't allow you to play the card before you draw a new one. Ah. Actually, I can still play the stink book. Okay, nice. Good. So we kill you. Then I want to grab this. Then I guess we try and play out the cage wolf and see what it does. Because it claims there's more to it. Okay. We win this battle. Getting a little better, I think. <laughs> My pelts are clean. I'll buy another rabbit's pelt, I guess. And we'll take what we get. Thanks for your patronage, and we'll be on our way. Go to the campfire once more. Plus two health. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health. Let's give it a go. Pick something else. Um, let's go for the bullfrog again, shall we? Make this thing quite strong. Enhance its health. But if you survivors drooling, you made a haste retreat with your bullfrog. I wonder what's going to happen with them at some point. So, right, next fight's here. A wolf in a cage. But how to break it? I don't know. I don't know how to break it. Right, let's do this for now. And we'll end it off there. Nice damage. And then we, k we kill the Sparrow on the next turn here, which is good. We take a Squirrel and put that there. Which gives us enough death points. Ah, heck. Wait, did that Stump just attack me? What the hell? Uh, that gives us enough points to play a Stink Bug, right? Oh, we've got to draw a card first. Uh, let's draw from here. Yes, yeah, so we've got Rabbit's Pelt. Oh, 
put that there, I guess. Takes care of you. Why is the stump attacking us? <laughs> it's a stump, for God's sake. It's me. It is you. We'll put you there. I, do I want to be attacking him first or the creatures? I'm really unsure. Like... I don't. Oh, wait. He let us win. Whoopsie. Stop. Draw a card. Okay. Just take that and win, I guess. Okay? That right? <laughs> I'm finding this difficult to understand, but I'm getting there. Encountered a small outpost in, uh, in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were, um, mollified by her offerings. Mind if I examine those pelts? How many pelts do we have? Oh, we have two. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what, here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Ooh, okay. Um, I think I want a pronghorn. They seem pretty good. Porcupine could be good too. Let's take a pronghorn and a porcupine. These pelts are most excellent, my thanks. Most excellent, even. Okay. Then let's go to the fire again. I want to know if these guys can eat me or not. Enhance its power. Once, once again. I could just keep buffing up the bullfrog. I hardly get to play the bullfrog, though, is the only thing. Maybe I'll try to do the pronghorn, see what that does. Extra damage, nice. Now retreat into the woods. Okay. To our next fight. We'll go with that pronghorn here. Oh, we can't yet. Wait a minute. Okay, so let's go... For now, let's go with that. And then that. Let me just skip over. At least blocks that. And then maybe go with like this and this and then... And put that there like that, right? And that should hit both of these. Yeah, okay. Pronghorn seems good. Then we sacrifice another one of these for a warren. Get that in place. Blocks us a little bit. And we can put you there. Okay, yeah, the pronghorn's really good. But it can fire over us. Okay, so we'll pull out another one of these. So porcupine, how does this actually work? Sharp quills. Once a card bear, um, bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage. Okay, that's good. So... We want to take that rabbit out of the equation. And then for now, we can just put you there. Yeah, the pronghorn's really good. I like that. Grab this. Beehive. Rattler and the porcupine. I think I'm going to go take another porcupine, you know. They're pretty good. Go for another fire. Plus one damage again here. We have no food, one said. Okay. I think I'm going to do the pronghorn again, honestly. I think that's a really good one to go for. Might be a bad idea, this, but I'm trying it out. Straight into the woods once again. Up to the prospector once more. Let's give this one one last shot here. That takes away one of our lives. Okay. A high stakes. With one flame, you'll either overcome them or die. Be or not, I will let you keep the smirk. Ooh, okay. The smirk. Distant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a ghost-esque figure. The prospector. Okay. How the hell does this work? 
Burn King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four burns are awarded instead of one. Okay, nice. We'll put both of those down. And then we'll put... Pronghorn down there. That was good. <laughs> I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. Oh, we tipped the scales again. Okay, I see. There's gold in them cards. Ah! That was my star. How could you? Oh, that was such a bad idea. Why'd I do that? Wait, what did it say? Can I sacrifice my gold nuggets? Oh, you can't sacrifice a gold nugget, so you're short. Damn. Get him. Okay, so take a squirrel, put you there. Let's see. And then... It's not going to do much, but we can at least get something out of that. Okay. Need a squirrel here. Put a warren there instead. Gives us a rabbit. Means we can do that. And then we can go boom, boom. And then play that. Just protects us a bit. A bullfrog. I think we skip a turn here, basically. We go like that. Get the bullfrog out there with a nice amount of health. Takes out that nicely. Okay, okay, okay. Then there's our wolf, finally. What was that? So I'll just put fodder card there for now. It's good. Dipping the scales a little bit. That wolf was upgraded. Prospect a boss. Again. Bad play. I don't know what I'm doing. Shut up. <laughs> Greetings. Masterful. Okay. Is that you bested? Hello. I think we did it. Allow me to light your candle once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. That's a lot of stats. When inspired, you can get, perhaps you can find a use for it. The Mantis God. The Holy Mantis God, a perfect incarnation of terror. First of all, a card bearing this sigil will strike um, each opposite space to the left and right and center of it. So that seems crazy good. But this thing also seems great, but it requires a hell of a lot to sacrifice. Let's go with the Mantis God and try that out. That seems like a card that's rife for upgrades. But anyways, I think we're going to leave it off here if we can. The sound of Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carry onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Each step forward was answered by some nearby slip or sliver. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Okay, we'll leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Really liking this game so far. Not what I expected at all coming into it, but I think I'm, I think I'm learning. I think I'm getting a little bit better, and I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.